Folks, we're going to talk about something I think a lot of you are dealing with, right? And that is looking at investments like that one with out-of-state eyes. This is huge for the people in L.A., right? I got a couple clients. They're in Los Angeles, and they sent me this deal. It's in one of the out-of-state cash flow markets. It's an 11-unit apartment building, and it's priced at $650,000. Now, I think being that they're in L.A., California in general, they get what's called out-of-state eyes. They look at properties like this, and they go, wow, an 11-unit apartment for $650,000. It must be an amazing deal. And also, since they're not in Los Angeles, if tenants don't pay rent, they're actually allowed to evict them. As you all know, according to new legislation, it's actually illegal to evict tenants for the third year in a row in L.A. County, right? But that notwithstanding, is this really a good deal, right? Is this a good deal? Before you spend your money in one of these out-of-state markets, folks, before you drop $650,000, I suggest you send your deal to your boy Jay Wise so I can make sure you get the good ones and you avoid the bad ones. Let's do a complete analysis of this property right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy Jay Wise here, right? This is what I do. You guys send me some deals, some deals like this one, and I'll let you know, man, Thumbs up, you're going to make some dough. Thumbs down, you're going to lose your ass, right? Today, I'm working with my dude, JJ, him and his partner. Uh, they're from L.A. L.A., the land of no evictions. <laughs> that is insane. I just dropped a video about that, like, literally two days ago or yesterday or something. It's in the notes, man. It is illegal for the third year in a row to evict tenants in L.A. County. That is sad. So, of course, JJ... You and your partners are looking to invest out of state. You guys came across this 11-unit building. You wanted me to check it out, right? And I'm here to make sure you don't get, uh, you know, googly eyes, out-of-state eyes. I'm sure I'm here to make sure it's not 2.45 a.m. at the bar closing time. You got some crazy beer goggles on, man. I'm making sure you go home with a 10 and you avoid a 4. Wow, was that was that joke sexist? It might have been. I apologize. Anyway. Uh, the address is 3498 Bosworth Road, Cleveland, 44111. Now, this is an 11-unit apartment building. And is this a good deal? Is this a bad deal? You guys sent me the rent roll. You guys sent me the expenses. Taking a look uh, at the particular building here. All right? Just checking it all out. You want to know. Is this going to make some sense, right? Should you guys do this deal? And uh, even without having to go through the entire list of expenses uh, and go over that, I can wholeheartedly tell you guys right now, despite the fact that I'm cruising through these units and everything is looking cool and it's looking nice and it's fresh, it's crisp, it's clean, Unequivocally, though, I got to tell you guys, there is absolutely no deal to be had here. This is garbage. This seller is looking for a mark. This seller is looking for the greater fool. This seller is, is looking for somebody who uh, doesn't understand the values here in the Cleveland market. This deal is no good. Uh, you guys don't have to look into this deal any further there is nothing to be had here uh, there is no cash flow that can be generated at this price point six hundred fifty thousand that price point is out of this world insane uncompetitive for this market this building in reality and this is pushing it is is worth at most 450 to maybe five maybe you could squeeze out a tiny profit at five okay but it's it's really probably only worth 450k. They are trying to get 650k. They just bought the thing in 2017 for 123,000. Now, I don't necessarily like my clients uh, 
to, to like put an extreme amount of weight into what sellers bought the houses or the buildings for because uh, the markets do go up go down right it doesn't really matter what they paid for it you got to pay attention to what's market competitive at that moment in time right the market is a living breathing thing so normally i don't like to say that but i mean the fact that they bought it for 123 you're trying to sell for 650 that just shows you such a wide gap that this is a ridiculous deal and here's the other thing uh the Cleveland market is hot, as as all markets are right now, really. It's 2022, folks. Uh, real estate, is, the demand is at an all-time high because the supply is at an all-time low. Cleveland is one of the most popular cash flow markets, right? People from all over the world are coming to Cleveland. Like you guys, you're in L.A. Y'all motherfuckers ain't even allowed to evict people, so you can bet your money's leaving California, right? Leaving California, uh, the California exodus. Uh, no rent LA. These are all trending topics, trending hashtags, right? So money is being funneled, funneled into Cleveland, right? We sell properties like within days, within hours, right? My other show where I sell investment real estate to people from all over the world. And then my team handles the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance. It's called the Investment Properties for Sale Show, folks. If you haven't watched it, you should. People at call my company. They reach out to us. They're like, hey, uh, you know. Where's the list of properties you're selling? We're like, no, there's no list. We sell them in that show. The day they go out, the day they get published to Holton Mice TV, that's the day they sell. Almost every single time. They're like, oh, that's great. Where's the list? No, motherfucker, you're not listening. There is no list. When we get a property ready to sell, we make the show, we produce the show, we publish the show. The day the show goes out, I'm fielding 10, 15, 20 offers, selling stuff that day. That's how fast properties move in this market. Now, this particular property, fellas, it's been listed for over 700 days. This has been on the market for over two years, okay? That right there is enough to, to shoot off red flags. Like, oh, oh, it was way overpriced. And here's the thing. Something could be said about like, oh, okay, well, JY's telling me it's worth 450 Let's just try to make an offer for 450 I mean, you could. It's just, you're just wasting your time, folks. Like sometimes lowball offers make a little bit of sense, all right? Sometimes they can't. When they do make sense, you want to aim for something that's distressed, a property that is uh, a, a draw, a, a, a way down on that seller. This is not a situation like that. This is fully producing, fully cash flowing. The person who owns this is making good money because they bought it for a song, right? They paid 123 okay? They're making money. They're doing what a lot of intelligent investors do, right? They're like, hey. This property, it's doing really good for me. I'm making a bunch of money. I'm just going to hold it. But at the same time, I'll just throw it on the market at 650 If for some reason some dude ends up at the end of their 1031 exchange in a jam or some fool comes in who doesn't watch James Wise and the MLS Search and Analysis show and he's got no fucking idea what he's doing, maybe they'll just overpay and I'll get lucky and I'll get 650 Every once in a while it happens. But that, folks, that's why if you're going to – be in a place like L.A. where you don't have a full understanding of the Cleveland market. That's why you come here. Because, sure, maybe this seller one day will find a fool to give him 650 But I can sure as shit guarantee if you watch this show and you work with me, you ain't going to be that fool, right? So, fellas, move on. There's no deal to be had here. The seller's probably just going to keep this on the market uh, indefinitely until one day. Uh, somebody who is not doing the proper due diligence like you offers him an above market price and he cashes out uh, and laughs all the way to the bank. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.